Hi students. Sometimes you're going to want to draw a part that has a uniform half cross section. These kinds of parts can best be done by bodies of revolution. So you'll take and draw the half profile and then you'll just spin it around a line or an axis. Let's see how this is done. I'm going to start a new part from my template. Create a sketch on the plane as I've always done. I'll even start by using the rectangle the way I've always done. I'll say OK. And I'm going to fully define the sketch as I go because this is going to get a little more complicated than the ones we've done before. So I'm going to make my block inch and a half wide. So that'll be half the width of the wine bottle that I'm about to draw. Wine bottle is the classic example of a body of revolution. Okay, so I'm fully defined. I didn't have to locate on the origin because when I started drawing, I clicked on the origin and SolidWorks automatically put in a coincident constraint. Now I'm going to add a few more lines. I'll start up here. Down. And I'll do some trimming. Not much like a bottle yet, but we'll get there. Now I'm going to use the fillet function. By definition, the fillet inserts an arc that's tangent at both ends. And I don't have a precision dimension that I'm working to. I'm just going to make something that kind of looks nice. Okay. One here. Okay. Now I need to locate the centers of my fillets in order to fully define my part. I'm just going to accept these dimensions because I'm just kind of drawing as an example, not to precision work. Let's zoom in a little closer. Okay, I have a fully defined sketch. Good to go. So I will accept my dimensions. I will exit the sketch. And I'm going to click Revolved Boss or Base. Notice that Sketch 1 is already highlighted. So here's the Revolve dialog. The first thing I'm going to choose is my axis of revolution. Where am I going to revolve this thing about? So it chose line 2. I'm not real happy with that, so I'm going to delete that. I'm actually going to use one of the pre-made axes. So I've clicked up here in the Feature Manager. I'm going to choose Axis 2. I'm doing that because I know that axis 2 is exactly vertical. I don't have to worry about the line being off by a little bit and causing geometry distortions. And there we go. Now I see one thing in this bottle that I don't really care for, and that's the fact that it's solid. I can't pour any wine in it. That's no fun. So let's fix that. There are multiple ways we could do it. I'm going to do it by showing you how to do offset curves. Now I could do it by shelling, which we will learn later, but for now let's just do it by offset curves. To do an offset, I'm simply going to choose offset, click on my sketch, 
and it immediately puts new curves in at a constant distance away. Well, that's not bad, but I think I'd like my curves on the inside. There we go. That's much nicer. And the point 0.1 will become the thickness of my bottle. I'm going to say OK. So if I do this, what's going to happen is I'll end up with a void in the center of my bottle. This will create a solid rod, and then I'll have a wall on the outside, and my bottle still won't be open. So let's fix that problem. What I'm going to do is delete this line. I'm going to do some trimming and extending. Extend that line. Trim. Oops, I'll get out of my trim command. I want these two lines to go away. I just don't need them. Then down here, I'm going to do another extend and trim. Extend. Then I'm going to trim. Okay, that got rid of my overall height dimension, so I need to add that back in. Click on the origin. Okay, that looks good. So now I have a fully defined sketch, and I have a uniform wall thickness of a hundred thousandths of an inch. I'll accept those dimensions, I'll exit the sketch, the part rebuilds, and now I can look inside and see that, in fact, I do have a hollow bottle. That I can put some wine in, or soda if you're under 21. So, that's Bodies of Revolution. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.